In this video, we are going to discuss about final value theorem in Laplace transforms. So, this theorem states that if you know spectrum of any signal, if you do not know which signal spectrum that is, then you can easily trace the final value of the signal. That means, if you know f of s, if you do not know f of t related to that f of s, you can trace the final value of that f of t. That means, final value means t is equivalent to infinity. f of t at t is equivalent to infinity value you can trace. Similarly, in initial value theorem, we can trace the starting value or initial value of the signal and final value of the signal can be defined here. So, by knowing initial value and final value of the signal, you can trace the signal range. So, here by using this initial and final value theorems, you are going to trace the initial and final value of the signal. So, without knowing total signal. So, if you want to consider, if you want to know this signal, total signal from transform, it will take so much time. You need to consider inverse Laplace transform of the spectrum and then only you are going to get the signal related to that uh, frequency domain or spectrum. So, now here to trace only initial value and final value, we already completed initial value theorem in the last class. So, in this class we will deal with final value. So, here if the transform f of s of an unknown function f of t is known, then it is possible to determine the final value of f of t that is the value of f of t at t is equivalent to infinity. So, all uh, both of this final value theorem and initial value theorem are applicable whenever the function and its first der derivative are Laplace transformable. Then only you will get proper final value. If that unknown signal or its first derivative or not Laplace transformable, then definitely you are not going to get that final and initial value. If f of t and its first derivative are Laplace transformable, then the final value of f of t is defined as f of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. This is similar to initial value theorem. In initial value theorem, f of 0 equal to 0 plus equal to limit s tends to infinity s into f of s. But here we are taking, so f of infinity is equal to because that is a final value, f of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. Here you have infinity means here you need to take 0. In initial value theorem, if you have 0 here means you need to consider infinity here. That is the only difference between initial and final value theorem relations. So, here for better understanding, I want to consider a spectrum f of s is equal to 3s by 2s square plus s. f of s is equal to 3s by 2s square plus s. This I want to consider here. So, now I want to trace my final value of the signal which is associated with this spectrum which leads this spectrum. So, here to know the final value we are having a formula that is f of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. That means we need to multiply s plane to this spectrum and we need to apply limit s tends to 0. So, I am doing that. So, to get final value I need to consider s tends to 0 s into 3 s by 2s square plus s. So, now that is equivalent to limit s tending to 0. So, here I am taking s square and 3 divided by s square I am taking common. So, if you take s square as common then you will get so 2 plus s by or 1 by s. 2 plus 1 by s. So, s square s square gets cancelled and here if you substitute limit s tends to 0 you are going to get so 1 by 0 means it is equal to infinity 1 by infinity is equal to again so 1 by infinity is equal to 0 that means here directly if you substituted s also you are getting 0 or if you I tried for cancelling s but I got 0 only. 
So I got final value as 0. So I am not getting this. So here in these cases the final value is 0 only, nothing wrong in this. So I am going for another spectrum which will give you some value for final value theorem. So here I am taking another spectrum 2s plus 1 divided by 2s plus 1 divided by so 3s square plus s 3s square plus s this is my spectrum now this is my f of s then final value theorem states that to get final value you need to consider limit s tends to 0 s into 2s plus 1 by 3s square plus s I want to consider s as common limit s tends to 0 limit s tends to 0 here s into 2s plus 1 divided by s into 3s plus 1 s is will get cancelled if you apply s tending to 0 here you are going to get 2 into 0 0 plus 1 that, that means 1 in numerator this will get 0 and remaining is 1. So, you are getting f of infinity is equal to 1. So, like this way you need to solve for final value of the signal. This is f of infinity. f of infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. So, always you need to try to get value not 0 and not infinity. So, if you are not getting any value means definitely you will get obviously 0 or infinity no problem in that. In options they will give 0 also you need to uh, take 0 for this type of problem and you need to consider 1 in the options. So, for this problem. So, like this way we need to solve some problems related to final value theorem in Laplace transform.